Okay, you guys, today we're doing a video, and we're doing a very interesting video today. A video that uh, I wasn't expecting to do today. I actually have a video list of things I want to do. But today we are watching 12 questions men should never ask on the first date. Dating tips in Atlanta must watch. Okay, it's a must watch. I'm not from Atlanta, so maybe these uh, tips won't apply to me. But it's a must watch from Rose Pachan... Pa... Pocan Hantos? I don't know how to... I'm, I'm sorry. Like, here, here. One second. We're going to do something real quick. Uh, just to make this a little... Oh. So, we're going to take this word. We're going to copy it. Google Translate. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. What the fuck? Okay. Well, I didn't speak anything. Why is it not speaking? Okay, I saw the sound up. Pocahontas. Wait, Pocahontas is her last name? Are you serious? That's how you say Pocahontas? What the? Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, you guys, so we're going to get straight into the video. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are ready. We're going to answer some questions. We're actually going to kind of reflect off of what she's telling us. Because she might be spitting some facts. She might not be spitting some facts. We're going to find out right now. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving y'all 12 questions I think men should not ask on the first date. Now, if you want to go get a second date, if you want her to call you back, if you want her to text you back, do not ask any of these questions. All right, you guys. So first of all, quick question. Should I wear these sunglasses on my date? Or these sunglasses right here. I don't really know. We're going to test this out real quick. So these sunglasses, what do you guys think? Or these sunglasses right here. I don't really know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. This is number one pair and this is number two pair. So let me get, let me know you guys which pair should I wear in the next video? Which pair should I wear on my next date? Um with my girlfriend, of course, because like, <laughs> God, what the fuck? Okay, let's start the video. That is on my list, so continue watching. Before I get started on the questions that you do not ask on the first date, I want to let you guys know, when you're talking to a girl, do not do interview style questions like drilling her, for example. So when is your birth? All right, you guys, first thing to note, all right? Do not drill the girl on the first date do not drill the girl on the first date wait give some time and then start drilling birthday um where do you work how much money do you make do you like your job do you have kids don't do that okay she's actually spent some facts here because like you're not okay so like i'm not i'm not maybe i'm not somebody to take relationship advice from okay maybe maybe not i don't know but this is my personal opinion Whenever you go in for a date, okay, you're going to, uh, let's say, for example, you don't really know the person too much, right? Or you may know them faintly. Well, you want to use your surroundings to pretty much create conversation. You're not going to create conversation based on what everybody would typically ask as if it was a doctor or as she says in an interview. Uh, because she's somebody that you want to connect with rather than know more about. You're going to know more about that person, but you're going to have to connect with them first. And that's just like my little theory on that. So we're going to get back into the video, though. Because it's so easy for somebody to lie. They can be like, yes, no, one, two. You can lie. Facts, though. Absolute facts. People lie all the fucking time. 
talk to them in dialogue form, talk to them, give them stories. Y'all interact with each other, like share things without blatantly just saying, oh yeah, um, I got a million dollars. No, say that maybe you went through a- I, I forgot this video is also uh, from Atlanta. This is, a, this is an Atlanta video, okay? I'm not from Atlanta. I don't know anybody from Atlanta, but I mean, these people that she's be meeting, they must got some millions of fucking dollars. I don't have millions of dollars, so yeah. Um, this video's already enough for me. A car accident and you got your settlement. Tell that person's story about yourself so they can get to know you. Don't drill me in interview style questions. Like, No, I can't, I can't be on the, no, I can't, I can't put on my face cam. Don't drill this woman, you guys. Don't drill her with questions. She, that's not what she wants. She wants something more whole than that. She wants genuine conversation, you guys. Okay. No, that is such a turn off. <laughs> Please just save it. Okay. So I'm joking around and everything, but she's actually kind of telling some truth here. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, she's literally onto something. So the first one on the list, these are not in no particular order. So the first one I have on my list is do not ask me why I'm late. If you feel as if. Okay, so. Okay, let's just listen to her for a little bit. If I take forever to get ready or I don't know time or whatever, the is at nine, tell me it's eight o'clock, okay? I don't want to get in a car with you. I don't want to meet you and you be like, where you been? Why you so late? You see how good I look. You know this didn't take five or 10 minutes. So don't ask me nothing stupid, okay? You're not with a basic bitch. So don't ask me why I'm late. I hate that shit. Oh my God. Okay, so... This is my personal thing. Uh, I would say like anywhere from 5, 10, 15 minutes. That's, that's reasonably late. That's like, okay, I understand you had something to do. You had some, but like if you have, if you're set on time and you make a date, okay? And dates typically have time. Uh, you want to be there on time because typically, you know, the restaurant's busting fucking balls and everything, and you don't want to be busting the fucking restaurant's balls because you're waiting on your girl who's out there doing her makeup when she can show up without makeup, and you're probably going to like her anyways. So, I understand, you know, you know, females and even some guys want to look really good, you know, on their dates, so they're going to, you know, take some extra time. But, like, get ready ahead of time so you don't have to be late. Uh, I would say that, like, 5, 10, 15 minutes is not bad. But, like, let's just say we're pushing, like, half an hour or, or like, an hour. Then you just, like, oh, I'm just going to call this off. But, yeah. Okay. Number two, do not ask me how many men I've been with. If I told you one, you still going to talk to me. If I told you 10 or 20, you still going to talk to me. So what? You know, she's she's spitting facts though. Um, it's it's very like, and she, keep in mind she can't do the same thing. She can't be like, how many uh, girls you been with? Because like, it, it's it doesn't really matter. You know, it doesn't it it matters to a point because I mean, like it's not something you want to ask for one because that's something that you want to ask later on once you know the person because let's just say it's two or three people that they've been with okay well those could have been just some really unsuccessful like stories you know if it was like 10 or 20 and then like that person just jumping around and stuff you might want to stay a little clear of what's going on you know i you want to know that person much deeper. Uh, you want to really get to know what's going on because you might be the 21st. <laughs> so, uh, or the 11th or something, you know? Uh, but I didn't mean to tap that, but yeah, uh, this is my little take. What's the point of asking that? 
you know, it's pointless because if I would have asked you how many women you've been with, your answer would have been ridiculous. So. Yeah, it, it could have been ridiculous. It could have been very, it could have been like, well, you see, I've never had my dick and pussy. So I, I don't really know. I just like, <laughs> okay, let's go on. Oh, just refrain from even asking that. Number three, do not ask me who my ex was. I don't care who your ex girlfriend. You know, she's she's totally right, though. You don't want to talk about exes on a fucking brand new spicy date. Because, like, the person that you were with before is, like, that's what you're moving on from. That's Those are the things that, like, you're pushing forward, you know? You're like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm getting away from this shit, you know? Like, you're totally, like, you're getting out. You're going, like, out. And then you're finding something new. So, she's kind of right there. I like that was it doesn't matter there is no point of comparing yourself and it's just this is just no point like ain't you trying to be my boyfriend so why are you asking about my old boyfriend like this is about us not about him <laughs> number four do not ask why we broke up <sighs> okay so this isn't being mean but like her transitions i know my transitions probably aren't the greatest either but I feel like she's got some, like, stuff to work on. Uh, I would say that the reason her camera quality is... I mean, my camera quality is shit, too, so I hear it. But uh, I think it's just probably because I had to play it in 720p because of my internet, uh, which isn't her fault, really. Like, really. And honestly, she's got a really nice camera, to be honest, and the nice little setup. I like it a lot. Mine, I mean, I got... This is my bedroom, so, I mean, she's obviously a little bit more fucking professional than me. But, yeah, I don't know, those transitions, they kind of hurt a little, but I know I fucked up uh, many transitions. I might screw up in this video. I know I have already, so I'm about to fix some stuff. So, yeah, let's get into the next one. Uh, it's not about him. <laughs> Number four, do not ask why we broke up. Why? So you can go and do the same shit he did? Like, no. Yeah, that, that, that straight up goes into, like, the last one. You just, like... You don't ask about the ex. Uh, uh, you don't ask about the ex, and if you ask about the ex, then this one doesn't like this one applies to the last one simply because like you don't do number one, and once you do number one, you fucked up. You do number two, you you fucked up harder. So like, yeah, just don't fuck up harder or don't fuck up at all. Oh, don't ask why they broke up because I could care less why you and your girlfriend broke up. You know, if he if he was such a grand person, we would still be together. So, dude, I had to get a ring light because look at her eyes. She's got a ring light, dude, and it looks so dope. Don't ask why we broke up. Number five, do not ask why I'm single. So obviously, that means I have high standards, and clearly, the right person haven't. Came You could use that whole, like, oh, why are you single, you know, kind of thing. You could use that as, like, a joke. But that's just, that boils down to a personality thing. That's not something I would do, but it's something somebody would do, that's for sure. In my life, so you should be trying to be that person, so don't ask me why I'm single. Okay, number six. This is another one that I really do hate. Do not call me wifey, baby mama. None of that. Like, I'm just your friend. We're on a date. Like, Once again, that's a personality thing. I don't do that shit. I was never just like, oh, you're my wifey. You're my, you're my girl. No, 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 no. I don't do, no, that's just gross. I mean, I get it. Some dudes do that. Some dudes are fucking weird, dude. But, uh, that's not me. I don't do that shit. Like, you doing that is not gonna make me feel extra comfortable. I already know what you're trying to do. Like, you think you're saying that is gonna give you special privileges. No, I'm not kissing you. No, I'm not coming back to your house. No, none of that. No. <laughs> don't do that. Number seven. Oh, dude. Oh, just keep in mind, okay? She's from Atlanta. I'm not saying the dudes from Atlanta are a little, like, trashy. But I imagine some of them are just fucking rich and trashy and all they want to do is smash. Just saying. I know that there's dudes from my state that like where I'm from, 
that probably do that. I'm not like that. I don't like. I, I like to. I like to have a connection with somebody before I take it somewhere else. So yeah. And don't ask me to come back to your spot. Like this is our first or second date. Like, what is there to do at your spot that we can't do out here? We can go to the movies. You want to watch a movie? You want to drink some more? We can go to a bar. Yeah, we can't do any of that because of the fucking coronavirus. Going back to your spot. That's all I want to know. So don't ask me. Don't ask me that. <laughs> Number eight. This is another one. This is like a pet peeve when a guy already follow you on Instagram, social media, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Facebook, you know, whatever social media, and they ask you to send another picture. These are all my best pictures on my um, social media. I'm not that person. A lot of this boils down to it's just not me. These are just like bad dudes that she's been with. Why are you asking me for another picture? Like, what kind of picture you expect to get? Like, I don't even know you. <laughs> like, why you feel like you deserve those type of pictures? Because I already know what picture you're talking about. Okay? Oh, oh, they want the titty. They want the fucking titty. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> Just saying she knows too. Right, this is another one that'd be so funny. Do not ask me, are, are you the only one I'm dating? <sighs> you want me to lie to you? Like, what's the point? Ask, ask me something that actually makes sense. Like, you know, maybe that person, uh, person may be looking for, you know, cool. Maybe cool. Or maybe he's looking for another dude, too. Maybe he's like, hmm, maybe she's already with the guy. Maybe I could, you know, I could smash with them both. You know, I don't really know. But that could be the case. Hmm, I don't know. I hope that's not the case. God fucking damn it. Like, you know you're not the only one I'm dating. So what you want me to say? Oh, I like you the most. No, nigga, I don't know you. So you're duh. You're not the only She don't know you. I'm dating. Make yourself stand out. Number 10, do not ask about my finances if you're not going to pay for shit. Why you want to know how? <laughs> don't ask about my finances if you're not going to pay for shit. Yeah, I mean, dude, what the fuck? Do people actually ask these things? On oh my god, like, hey, are you broke or are you fucking rich? Cause like, I'm not paying for this meal. I'll pay. It's, uh, I'll pay for the tip maybe, but I ain't paying for this fucking meal. God damn. How much my rent costs? Why you want to know um how much I pay a month for my car? You know why? You're not paying for it, so don't worry about it. You're just trying to see how much money I spend a month or how much money I do have. Like, ew, turn off. Don't do that. I don't ask you that. Don't do that, boys. Don't do that. She's actually spitting facts, so don't do that. Number 11, you invited me out on a date. You initiated the date. Don't think because you paid for the dinner up in the tip. Don't think because you drove that I'm going to pay for parking. We drove, Even if we drove a separate car, you're going to pay for my parking too. Like... Yeah, um... Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back. Let's hear that again. Pay for parking. We drove, Even if we drove a separate car, you're going to pay for my parking too. Like, I'm on a date with you. I'm a queen. You're supposed to pay for everything. Okay, now. Holy... F We're going to keep the camera off for that one. Okay. I understand... You know, the guy, in theory, is supposed to pay for everything on the first date. But if you're driving in separate cars... What the fuck? No! Am I supposed to go over to your parking meter and then just fucking stuff some quarters in it? So that, like, you can have a place to park? Or am I supposed to, like... I don't know, it's fucking Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know what they do over there. But I, I know that where we're from, we have fucking parking meters. So, like, what am I supposed to, like, put quarters in it to be, like, cute? Like, I just... No, you can pay for your own fucking parking. Like, that's the only thing that I have to disagree with. Sorry. Just so sorry, but goddammit. 
thing. It ain't no 50-50 or 70-30. You just trying to get to know me. Like, shit don't even work like that. Even in a real relationship, a woman really ain't pay, supposed, to, supposed to pay for shit. But if she is going to pay for something, okay, that's her man. They work together. Okay, she's looking at this shit like it's traditional. This is a traditional romantic relationship, I guess. Yeah, they're 70, 30. It's never no 50, 50. And then especially on the first or second date. She's trying to tell you that it is a hundred and zero. That's what she's telling you. She's just not putting in words. That's what she's saying. Like you got some nerve to ask me to even go in a gas station to pay for shit. No, the fuck? Um, number 12, this is the last one. Do not ask me to ride in my car with me or drive my car just because my car looked better than yours. No. And believe it, if I knew that was a situation, we wouldn't even be on this date right now. But since we are already here, drive your car and I'm going to drive my car. Don't be trying to get in my shit. And then especially don't try to drive my shit. Like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with people? This is like, this makes no sense. This makes no sense. I don't know what's wrong with people. Like, what the fuck would I ask you? Can I drive your car? Like, clearly I drove here and I paid for your parking. Of course you're going to fucking drive away. I'm not going to drive your car and leave mine in my parking spot. Like, oh, okay. Sorry. Don't no. Hurt. Turn off. Please don't do it. <laughs> Oh, you know, this list is not like, I don't want men to feel like you can't ask certain things if you really want to. Every woman is different. Some women won't take offense like I will. So I gave y'all 12 questions. I think men should not ask on the first date. If you think of anything else, please comment in the comment section. Below. Okay, I did more than commenting, actually. I just straight, <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Hey, let's, uh, hold on. Hello, and I will break. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. I'm so sorry. But yeah. Uh, oh, I just stepped on a water bottle. But yeah, um, I, I did more in commenting. I just made a whole ass video on this video. So yeah, um, let's let's just listen to the rest of this. We appreciate it. Um, all my new people, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. All my old subscribers, give me a thumbs up. I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Mwah. Very, damn, damn, you guys, oh my god, what a beautiful video, what an awesome, uh, what, I mean, she got 420 views, of course, you know, this was definitely done on purpose, she locked the view count, uh, at 420, obviously, because that's just the number that she, oh fuck, but, uh, that's just the number, but, yeah, uh, you guys, uh, I do gotta agree with almost every single thing that she said, except the whole parking thing. Maybe she just wasn't thinking whenever she said that, but like, I'm not going to pay for somebody else's parking. If they're driving in their own car, because then you're not like, oh God, just thinking about that. I don't know. Maybe it'd be cute to put some quarters in a parking meter for a female, but okay, you guys, once again, number one glasses on date or number two glasses on date leave a comment below which pair of glasses you guys want me to wear on my next date it's gonna be some good shit uh i will give a review on how it did if uh my girlfriend broke up with me or if she stayed with me or if she paid for my whole ass meal uh, i'll let you guys know so yeah uh, let me know which pair of sunglasses you guys want me to wear, because, I mean, clearly I own some fire-ass glasses, uh, smudge the shit. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate a like. Uh, Rose Pana Hocus Pana Pocahontas, God, sorry, I'm so sorry, uh, Rose Pocahontas, uh, I do gotta say, this was not against you. This was just me answering the questions that you gave me. Uh, specifically me, of course. Uh, dating tips in Atlanta. I'm not from Atlanta. So these will not, unfortunately, uh, be beneficial to me. Although, uh, maybe you could even tell me what uh, pair of sunglasses I should wear on my next date. I would really appreciate that. 
Um, but yeah, this has been it for the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, then uh, smash that like button like I did Pocahontas' video. I'm such a kind person. Look at me. Look at me. I did this. I did that. Who the fuck disliked this, huh? Maybe they were just, like, sad because they, like, they didn't get their girl... Maybe they, like, maybe they fucked up, you know? Maybe it was something like that. Maybe, like, maybe they, like, went to the date and they were just like, Oh, yeah, uh, I kind of, like, forgot to wipe my ass, uh, from last night. I'm gonna go to the restroom real quick. And then, like, she came, like, he came back and, like, there was no woman there. It was just, she was gone. He just wiped his ass for no reason.